Hey guys, back with some breaking news on Luckin Coffee and unfortunately this is not good news for Luckin Coffee stock investors. So in this video I'm going to talking about what is the news and what does it mean for those who are invested in Luckin Coffee. So please smash the like button if you enjoy this short term ad hoc video about the news and also subscribe to our channel if you want to stay informed about what's going on with Luckin Coffee and also other Chinese stocks. So now let's jump into it. Um, the 6K has just been filed and while well, the company is notifying the listing qualification staff of the company's decision to withdraw its request for the aforementioned hearings. So they do not seek to reverse or stay the listing qualification staff determination of delisting the company from Nasdaq Global Select. So what does it mean? Well, Luckin Coffee, uh, first of all, after getting some delisting notes, uh, in, in total they received two, um, they announced that they are going to fight the delisting and they want to try to um, stay listed with Nasdaq. Um, so they want to pitch uh, basically their compliance plan and so on. And now they wrote that on May 23rd, they, um, the Nasdaq informed the company of the scheduled hearing date of June 25th. And on June 24th, um, well, basically, Luckin Coffee informed Nasdaq that they are not going to intend, uh, attend the, the Nasdaq hearing. So this means that uh, definitely the delisting from Nasdaq is uh, inevitable. It, it's going to happen. And actually, it's going to happen from Monday onwards. So from Monday at the market open, Luckin Coffee will not be trading on Nasdaq anymore. And um, this means today is actually the last trading day for Luckin Coffee at Nasdaq. And this also means for you as an investor in Luckin Coffee, if you're still a shareholder, then um, you need to make a decision today. And if the broker is not able to trade stocks that are only traded over the counter, so OTC, then it means you will not be able to sell those shares uh, right now in your, with your current broker. However, your shares are not getting worthless in this regard. You still own the shares and, and this part of the company that you bought into. However, well, if your broker doesn't support the trading, then obviously you're not able to uh, trade it. So what does it mean? What could you do? First of all, you can sell off your shares and possibly book some losses as the sh stock is now trading around minus 50% today. And otherwise, you may still choose to not sell the shares. You can hold them and um, move them to a broker that is actually able to trade over the counter, for instance. Or you wait for the scenario that um, Luckin Coffee tries to get a second listing, which is possible. So they could also uh, choose to um, get listed at um, Hong Kong or other stock exchanges, or they could actually also still try to get a second listing with Nasdaq. Um, this is also possible, but would be a separate process. So this is not part of the current Nasdaq hearing um, that we have all been waiting for in terms of news. So why is Luckin Coffee not taking the hearing? Well, we can only speculate because they didn't uh, publish any information about this question. So basically, it could be the case that Luckin Coffee was not able to compile the data and the information and the cleaning the books and so on in order to present a new case to Nasdaq that actually has a chance to um, yeah, you know, stay listed with Nasdaq. That might be one option. A second option is that Luckin Coffee, well, basically is not interested in staying listed with Nasdaq. Well, basically, we don't know what's happening in the background. I did another video, of course, about how the changes are going to happen uh, with the board members, for instance, and also with the operational stuff. Um, still, we need to see the outcomes of the July 5th voting, uh, the extraordinary meeting that's going on. So this will have implications of how the company will be looking in the future. And of course, uh, this may have had implications on whether or not uh, Luckin Coffee is actually trying to, uh, you know, make a hearing and trying to fight the delisting um, of the stock. So the bottom line here is that for once, the, the shares are not becoming worthless per se if the stock is getting delisted. However, as we see today, it puts a lot of pressure on the share price. On the other hand, if you want to continue trading the stock, then you need to, to move it to a broker that um, is able to trade the stock over the counter and in the future, we don't know what, be, what will happen with the Luckin Coffee shares if you choose to not sell your shares. 
What am I going to do? Well, personally, um, I mentioned in my last video actually yesterday that I'm working with stop losses and so on. So actually today this has been triggered. So yeah, the last chunk of my Luckin Coffee stock has been sold automatically and thereby my position has been closed. And as for me, that my stock is in a, in a brokerage account where I can trade it over the counter, that might be still the case that I can, you know, see what's going to happen with that in the future. Um, anyways, um, the, the bottom line once again is from Monday on onwards, you will not be able to trade luck, um, the, the luck in stock if you are not on a broker that supports over the counter trading. So yeah, this is it. Um, unfortunately, it's not good news for Lucking stockholders. Um, however, of course, um, the, the event that Lucking Coffee was going to stay listed with Nasdaq was quite un unlikely, even in the scenario that they get to the hearing. However, now that they even didn't take the hearing, um, I think, well, once again, this doesn't uh, put a good light on the company and how it's managed. On, on the other hand, uh, we don't know, for instance, what the CFO can do right now. Maybe there are some stuff that he d is not able to influence in terms of, uh, you know, um, pitching a compliance plan that really makes sense if, you know, there is no approval of the actual findings of the report and so on. There is no way he can, you know, issue new financials or, you know, there's no way that the NASDAQ meeting makes sense at all anyway. So, um, yeah, still, Let's see what happens in the future. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay and see you next time in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please smash the like button once again and see you next time. Bye bye.